They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. And he goes out right around the 39. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. He'll decide to keep this once more. And he stopped immediately there. Back to throw now on second and ten. Being chased out left. Room to run past midfield. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this is caught inside the five. A big play that time through the air. 37 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, Defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big... And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Jordan Scarlett taking it in from four yards out. And the Gators take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. So they get in for the opening drive score, and they go for two. They, they kept the kicker lonesome over there. They said, we don't need you this time. <laughs> kickers? Who needs kickers for PATs? Be nice now. We want them for field goals, go. not for PATs. They went for two and got it. It's a new tone setter for this team. Here's Florida now after the touchdown, back out to kick it off. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Throw on first down with Burrow. Flush to his right. He'll swing this one out to Edwards Alaire. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Fournette fighting through and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rush. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
So now it appears they're going to accept the penalty, which means take away the interception. Also means keep your defense on the field. Don't understand this one one bit. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Catch made, it's Moreau. A starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the that had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm up QB too. Let's bring in the backup. I mean, my goodness, you take them down field, you don't score points. You know I'm being totally <laughs> facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game, but they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. The play fake. Here's Burrow. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now a second down and six. Now it's Burrow. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Looking to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. They're gonna try and throw. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Taylor. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. That's all you got! And touchdown! Fred Taylor, 54 yards. And the Gators are able to add on to that lead. 
I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. The offense going to stay on the field as they will line up and go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Florida now after the touchdown, back out to kick it off. Taking it about the one. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches in. The ball comes out. And does the defense have it? They do, says the referee. We're going the other way. All right, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline. Step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 98 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Back to Taylor on first down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. On second down now. It's Taylor, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Fred Taylor with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Gators are able to extend their lead. Now the offense will stay out there. They're going to line up and try for two. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So the signal caller doing it himself there on the two-point try. You got to like that. We always talk about the ball staying in the hands of the best players. But most of the time, you want to get it to a back, pitch it to a wide receiver. In this case, the quarterback did it himself. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Sliding out of the pocket. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that just Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt.
The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. Flushed out right. On oh, the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Well, this is taken in, it's complete. A big connection on that one, 39 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far, and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. On second and ten, Burrow forced out to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Burrow looking to pass. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So after a very one-sided first half, what will the second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports? And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So here's a diving catch right side. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. It's complete. He finds Falk here. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll make it a second down. Here's Burrow. Steps away to his left. And Burrow going to slide to the ground as he does pick up the first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. And Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Marcus May with a pick. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. And he's got it. They add on more. A little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. 